Hello everybody, this is my one chunk piston house. As you can see, everything is contained inside of this border, which is technically 18 by 18, but that's because everything is inside the border. Besides, a few bits of redstone over here and some of the house over here, which you'll see later in the video. Anyway, we're going to start off with this garage, which if we press this button and enter, you can see we have the beautiful 1970 Ford Mustang, uh, the grindstone, and a furnace for the whole house that provides heating. Uh, doesn't actually work, it's just a blast furnace. Anyway, if we go to walk in our door, we fall down, because uh, as you can see here, we can't actually get to the door. So that's pretty interesting. But as we walk in, we see this barrel, and there's an observer, some carrots, an oak button, and a lever, which we will need the oak button and the lever later in the video. But I'm going to show you the first contraption in this house. Now, we're, now, the first contraption in this house is activated by placing this observer here, which starts an observer clock that dispenses bone meal onto this farmland. And our carrots will instantly grow, so if you're really like quick at placing and breaking this is a great farm for you and if i was in survival mode it would generate tons of carrots but i'm in creative so it doesn't but that's like a little farm for our naughty i wouldn't even call it a kitchen because that's the only kitchen like thing we have and the rest of it is a living room sort of thing but yeah that's our little farm we have here we have a double block swapper with blast furnace smoker uh furnace and a crafting table uh, the last block swapper that I had in a piston house was just crafting table and furnace. This one's a double one, though, so it's even better. Uh, and if we put a lever here, we get a pop-up coffee table with the carpets, which I didn't know was possible. I thought that the pistons would break the carpets, but uh, they luckily do not, which allows me to have that really cool system. Let's break that. And... Next, we'll go on into the bedroom. Going into the bedroom, we can see that we have an armor equipping station. And if we press this, we get kitted out in full netherite gear and even a shield. So this is better than most, because usually you would only get uh, full armor and then maybe like a sword. But this one actually equips your shield, which I thought I would just put it in your hotbar, but it actually does enter it into your offhand immediately, which is really cool. I'm going to take that off and not forget the pants like I did in my last Piston House video. Anyway, we also have an anvil replacement system where if this anvil were to break, we can press this button and a new one will be pushed into place. It also has this enchanting table over here. And that's the bedroom all completed. I'm going to show you what is out front because that is the last thing in this video. Now... This mysterious little oak button, what what does it do? Well, you might see that there's a little patch that doesn't have any actual grass on it. And if we press this, a flush piston door opens into a doomsday bunker. This is so cool, and that just uses a normal 1x2 flush piston door. Um, but we have some chests, an enchanting table, a furnace and crafting table, and then a bunk bed. Um, for two people, of course, and if you have more people who want to live with you during the nuclear apocalypse, they're going to have to sleep on the floor. Sorry about that. But, uh, if you so want to exit, or this nuclear apocalypse that you are hiding from has ended, there's an exit with an extremely expensive netherite door, which is just, again, a simple one by 2 piston door. And then we lock down this long and boring hallway where we enter a river and this river is just this direction from the house and that's why i said at the beginning that most of everything was inside the one chunk but not absolutely everything there's little bits of redstone and of course that big long hallway so technically not a one chunk piston house but technically the house is in the chunk. Anyway, that's it for me in this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next Piston House video.